Tom Racine, 31 and a half years with the badge, the uniform. You're taking the car out one last time today? I am, Jamie. It's uh, kind of a special time for me, I guess, when you... Uh, I, can, I, I can remember the first time I took the car out. It was Christmas Day of 1981, and uh, my staff sergeant at the time was uh, Stan Harkin. And uh, he said, there's one rule. He said, don't you go out beyond beat one, which was the main downtown core. Don't stop anybody. <laughs> I'd only been on a couple of months at the time, so today's a little bit different. This is just kind of going backwards and uh, remembering uh, all those tours of duty and uh, all those uh, night shifts and go out for an hour and get one last uh, one last ride in. Yeah, because you haven't had to drive the beat in the cop car for a long time now. Uh, 2008 would have been the last regular time. Mm -hmm. uh, as patrol sergeant, I did that from 2001 to 2008. And the last four years has been as the training sergeant, so you're right. I did get out the last weekend of September uh, to help one of the shifts out, and uh, that was kind of the last official ride, I guess, if you want to call it. Is there a special feeling when you're in the police car and you're you're on, you're in on duty and ready to roll? Yeah, there is. It's all in being prepared. Um, you know, I think when you first start riding around the police car, you know, you, you don't get a you don't get the, the sense that everybody's looking at you until you actually get in the car and then everybody's looking at you. They spot you miles away type thing. So, um, but you're a person in authority and that's what the job is. You know, you're there to help and serve and uh, so yeah, there is a special feeling. I know this is gonna sound a little weird, but when you put on the gear, I mean, you're wearing your vest, you've got your radio on, you've, you've got all your guns and, and, and equipment and cuffs, is it different? Is, is it like suiting up? Um, yeah, I, I think it changes you um, a little bit. You don't. Uh, I, I guess the best the best way to look at that is as long as you don't let what you're wearing go to your head that you're better than anyone else, and that you're you know you're there to serve. And uh, authority comes with a lot of likes and a lot of dislikes. Mm -hmm. There's going to be people that love to see you in uniform and love the uniform, and of course there's the other side that doesn't. And I guess, you know, common sense is a very strange phrase, but if you use a lot of common sense in this job, you, uh, you, you'll you survive it. And, and that's really what I, I hope that after 32 years, you know, it, it was like that. So why now? Why are you retiring now? It's just time. I think everybody knows when it's time to do something different um, and opportunities in life. Uh, I'm 52 years old. I, I'm young enough to do something else. and. Uh, it's, it's certainly not a staleness. It just was time to do something different, see if I can do something different. How do you think you're going to feel tomorrow morning? Um, probably the way I've felt for the last five weeks when I announced this. It, it's a weird feeling. Um, I mean, it's not all about the badge and the uniform, but it's about the people that you work with and the people that you go to the wall with and, you know, the people that you fight with. And, um, you know, it's a big happy family. Sometimes it's a big sad family. It's no different than real life. So I've been I've been ready for this, and the last five weeks have been pretty emotional. Um, you know, yesterday was emotional, today's emotional, but it's just time. All right, well, I'm going to stop the camera for now, and I'm just going to get a shot of you driving away. Perfect. Thanks, Tom. Thank you.